Don't feel like you can't be good at makeup because you're using drugstore products. <laughs> Just letting you know that. Yeah, yeah, oh, we get lost in the night. We living in life. We don't live it twice, so we gonna get right. Oh, yeah. What's good, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a makeup look, a whole makeup look with just drugstore products. Of course, I use a little high end here and there, but that's just because I couldn't get it all. But you know, I got the most of like what I can. This is the finished product. Like, this is what I ended up with. I hope y'all like it. I hope this is helpful to new beginners. I made this real beginner friendly. Well, I wasn't doing no crazy look, obviously. Other than the lashes, I know the lashes are a bit much, but you know me and my bold lashes. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. All right, so what's good? As you know, we're gonna be doing a full face with just drugstore products, or we are gonna try to. But yeah, I don't got nothing against drugstore products. I think they're great or whatever. It just depends. You just gotta really do your research. And I did that for y'all, period. All right, so what I started off my skin with was a primer, and this primer is from any drugstore, like Target, Walgreens, all that. I feel like for any skin type, you should be using face moisturizer, no matter even if you're oily because you can find a face moisturizer that controls their oiliness. But it's kind of like a primer to the primer. Okay, first I start off with eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with this angled e.l.f. brush. This was about three bucks. And then their e.l.f. pomade in medium brown. This was probably three bucks too. A lot of e.l.f. products, e.l.f. products <laughs> range around three bucks. Flatten the brush and get to do my brows. This is my first time doing brows on camera, so I'm gonna really try to do it for you. Okay, as you can see with my eyebrows, I start off by creating a line underneath, and that's kind of my shape. And I do it for the top also, but I start in the middle and go out. And then I fill everything in from the middle out with more powder. And make sure you're getting rid of the lines that you line the brows with. Okay, I'm gonna just do the next eyebrow quick. Okay, obviously you can tell which eyebrow is my better eyebrow. Bam. Compared to bam. We don't worry, concealer does the job. Okay, and then to conceal my eyebrows, I'm gonna use this brush, this raggedy brush. I don't know, I got it from like an Amazon, like brush kit. I would say it's drugstore. It was cheap. It do the job, period. But then I'm gonna go into this concealer. You can get it from like any beauty store, really. And it's called the Pro Conceal. I'm guessing Airbot and all that he is. And it's in the color medium beige. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take it and conceal my brows. And this is not a color that's too light, but it's lighter than my skin. Probably like one or two shades lighter than my skin. Okay, maybe it's too light, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, and then just conceal the shebang. Okay, I have a problem with like not being able to talk and do my makeup because like it's hard. Like, I don't know how these makeup gurus like talk and do like get ready with me while they're doing their makeup because I just need to get in the hang of that, to be honest. But like, I don't wanna bore y'all. You shouldn't be bored, you're here for the makeup, period. Not my lack of um, conversating skills. Conversating skills, is that the right word? Okay, I come to the top and bottom of my brows. Boom, boom. I feel like I do my makeup better on camera because I really just did that. I really just did it. I feel like when I do my eyebrows now, it's just muscle memory. Cause, shit is getting a little too easy, baby. Now let me not jinx it though. I think I just jinxed it. I jinxed it. Okay, boom, eyebrows done. Boom, eyebrows done. Hey, boom, eyebrows done. Boom, all right, boom, all right, boom, all right, I'm done. Hey, boom. Okay, because I'm not really doing an eye look, I'm gonna go straight to foundation. And for primer, I'm using this NYX Photo Loving Primer. It says it's, it says, apply before foundation for an unbelievably smooth complexion. Let's see how that go. I'm scared because I haven't really used it in drugstore pr primers is what I'm kind of iffy about. Anything drugstore face, like drugstore foundation, drugstore primer is like what I'm like afraid to use. It's really soft. Really, really, really soft. Like, really soft. Hopefully it works. Like, hopefully my foundation don't end up looking busted because I got somewhere to go. I got places to be. Okay, after primer, I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation in the color 330 Toffee. 
you know, I'm not gonna tell you that because it doesn't really match my skin color. I'm gonna have to mix it into something else. Can't even lie to you. Makeup is a whole science project. Period. And I'm using a drugstore beauty blender also. I can't remember what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's by like Up and Up. It's not by New Techniques though, because they got some bomb beauty blenders. If you're looking for a bomb drugstore beauty blender, the New Techniques, that's, that's, that's it. But mine is dirty, so I have to get a new one. And I have a very, very, very horrible talent when it comes to matching my foundation colors, so we'll see at the end. Literally, when it comes to matching your foundation color, it, the, your hairline is like the ultimate test because when it looks full around your hairline, that means it ain't your color. When it looks like you're wearing a mask, it ain't your color. And trust me, like, it happens to me a lot. A lot. I be going outside as hell. But my makeup's already done, so what am I gonna do? And I literally blend my foundation until it looks like skin. Until the moistness of the beauty blender doesn't even affect my foundation more. I don't move it. Then nothing will move it. Period. Even bringing it to your ears, like don't forget to fix this side of your face line. And all up under. Okay, so I've heard a lot of great things about this foundation, but like for me, like it always, I always end the day with like the worst looking like, it will really, you get like, when this foundation gets old, you can tell it's old. like. I don't know how to explain it, but like, this foundation gets to looking old after a while. Like, it, I, mm, mm. Okay, but I kind of love it though, I can't lie, because it blends so nicely and effortlessly. It doesn't, it's not patchy. Well, for now. Okay. Okay, I already tried it out, just see the color, but I'm gonna go in with the LA Bro Conceal again, but then this color is gonna be pure beige, it's way lighter than the other one. I love a highlighted, Highlight, like I don't know why people don't. They always hate on somebody for having their highlight too light, but I just love the way it looks. It makes you like radiate. If you're looking for like a higher coverage concealer, this wouldn't really be it because this is like a kind of like a watery concealer that like does its job color-wise, but coverage-wise, we'll see. But I just think it's amazing. Like this is the best drugstore concealer for the low too. I blend this like a muzzle trucker. Even so, if it's a everyday makeup routine, you don't want it to be too like cake face, you know? But I have an addiction with a cake face look. You wanna make sure you're dabbing and not pulling because then it just kinda like ruins the color until it disappears. I like to make sure I'm bringing the highlight up to my nose because it just kind of takes away less contouring job you have to do to your nose. For setting powder, this is also drugstore from Target. This is the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. And this was probably about like, had to be under less than 10 bucks too. I could be wrong. But yeah. It doesn't really illuminate your face, but it does the setting job. And it comes in colors and I got mine in banana, it says. I don't do too much because it does make my makeup kind of like patchy because I look back at pictures and I'm like what but that's maybe because I'm not blending it out that well so make sure you do that and it puts and it adds like an undertone color that I like doesn't need but you know it said black radiance I had to get my people brand name stuff I'm gonna set my eyes too, just cause I put so much concealer and foundation on it. I don't usually do that when I'm beating my face because it takes away from like the color. Okay, for contouring, I'm also going with the LA Pro Conceal and it's in the color Toffee. Let's see how this goes, cause I feel like this is gonna be a little too dark. I don't typically use a liquid contour. I do a cream stick, but we're going with, what is this? Okay, I don't think this, this one would be too dark. Dark enough. Okay, so I found a darker color and it's in the color Espresso. This may be a little too dark, but Toffee wasn't doing nothing. It wasn't opening, like literally the product won't come out and my thumbs are sore, so. <gasps> it came out. Yeah, so yeah, this might be a little too dark. So if I look dumb, don't judge me because I'm gonna use a liquid one, but let's see how this goes. 
my gosh, this is so weird. I've never used a liquid one. Hopefully I don't look messed up. Okay, now I'm gonna go on with this e.l.f. stipple brush. This messy e.l.f. stipple brush and blend it. I use this to blend out my cream one, so let's just see if it works with the liquid one too. But... Oh. Okay, definitely the liquid one is more... Not for the seals, for the one. Okay. Yeah, this is not gonna work. At all. At all. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the beauty blender and just blend it like I do. Foundation. It's not blending. Oh, sweet Oh no, the liquid is drying. It won't... <laughs> just know I'm gonna get it blended. Just know I'm gonna make this right because ain't no way I'm going out like these. Ooh, my armor's tired. Okay. <sighs> Look. Oh my goodness. Oh, sister. Wait, just now? Oh. None of it is blending. It's not blending. I thought I could do it. The more time I take on my face, the more time my nose contour is drawing. I know that one's about to be bad. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, the only thing about this contour is like the undertone is not like the undertone I prefer when it comes to contouring. See, I did not tell you. Oh, it dried for sure. Maybe this is just an oil concealer. I'm gonna go look in a different mirror because maybe I'm amping it, but. Okay, I'm definitely not amping it. This is not blended. Honestly, I think I'm just making it worse. I have nothing bad against like this concealer brand. Like I actually love it, but like this must have been an open like old product because never do I use this. And I'm like, where did this come from? Even from the first place. So I'm thinking like this has to be like old. Like the end product still nice. I'm about to cut it, clean it up with some more setting powder. I don't really like doing this either because I suck at blending it out later on and it leaves me looking crazy. But it cleans up my contour. Okay, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. angled blush brush to wipe off my product. I mean, not my product, what's it called? Wipe off my setting powder. Okay, for the sake that I'm going out after this, I'm gonna go in with like a, this is not a drugstore brand, but the Anastasia contour palette and just fix my contour and, you know, blend it out. Even this has two different undertones. For eyeshadow, I got this like three pack of e.l.f. eyeshadows and it's called Rosé All Day. That's like cute. It's so cute. I'm gonna do a basic eye look. Okay, with the larger brush, like a, this is not dark star, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna take this lighter color and just use that as my base. Okay, I don't know if it's really showing up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker color using this Real Techniques brush. This it's a drugstore brush, and these are my favorite Elf brushes and Real Techniques brushes. They go period. Let's just blend and hope for the best. Oh my goodness, it's not blending. Oh my goodness, it's not blending. It's not blending. It's not blending. It's not blending. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Oh my goodness, it's not blending. 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 One eternity later. Okay. I got it to blend and it looks bomb too, sis. Well, it looks high. Right. But as I was saying, I feel like any product high end or drugstore comes with this problem. So like it shouldn't be discouraging that you like you shouldn't blame the fact that oh something's not blending because it's a drugstore. I mean that may be the case, but like don't fuck your makeup up or don't feel like you can't be good at makeup because you're using drugstore products is what I'm trying to say you know for mascara I'm using yeah this is a L'Oreal product I'm pretty sure but like this is like the details that come with it I don't know what to tell y'all other than it looks like this so if you see it get it if you want it but I think it does a great job with like lash length and all that mess 
And I'm gonna go in with the black eyeliner and just go underneath my eyeballs. And I'm gonna use a small tapered brush. This is a small fee. I would say, okay, I wouldn't say this drugstore. It ain't too pricey. It ain't too pricey. And I'm just gonna go in with that same dark color and then go underneath my eye with it around the edge. And I'm gonna go in and do my bottom lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I just finished putting on my eyelashes and I used this Kiss Lashes adhesive. And these lashes by Eyler in Vegas Nay. They kind of defeat the purpose of this in everyday makeup look because they're really bold. But I have a horrible like eye when it comes to seeing how bold lashes are inside of it. But I'm obsessed inside the packaging. But I'm obsessed with bold lashes, so whatever. Whatever. And I went ahead and highlighted, boom, my eyebrows, boom, my cheekbones, boom. I keep it cool. Okay, for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal lip liner in the color Toffee. Bomb.com, period. And just line my lips. But I'm gonna go with this lip gloss from the beauty store. Come on, it's real nice. I know everybody named Mama Minnesota got it. Okay, boom. I kind of wish I set in my makeup before all the. I kind of wish I set in my foundation before I finish everything else because I can already see my skin like peeking through the foundation. But you know, nobody looking that hard. It's alright. But I'm gonna go in with this NYX matte finish setting spray. It's kind of old too, but whatever. But yeah, I'm done, sister. I know I've been lacking with makeup videos, but now prom season up, and I'm about to do some bomb prom looks for y'all. But thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can know when I post. Period. If you follow me on Instagram, you know when I'm posting. Just letting you know that. <laughs> Just letting you know that. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. We living in life, we don't live in twice, so we gon' get right. Oh yeah.